Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of inevitable abortion. A young female patient came with amenorrhea for more than 3 months. She had a history of low abdominal pain and parvaginal bleeding for 3 days. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the uterus. You can see a live embryo moving within the cervical cavity. The gestational sac appears elongated and it extends up to the cervical cavity with the dilatation of the internal os. This area is the growing placenta. As the internal os is dilated and the fetus has descended to the cervical cavity, this feature is concluded as a case of inevitable abortion. Here is the magnified image and you can see the fetus within the cervical cavity with the dilatation of the internal os of the cervix. You can see the fetal cardiac pulsation. The crown arm length measures around 42 mm corresponds to 11 weeks and 1 day of gestation. So in summary, about 11 plus week size single life intravitreal fetus is noted within the cervical canal with a dilated internal os, suggesting inevitable abortion. Now the take home message. A careful evaluation of the cervix may reduce the number of spontaneous miscarriages, especially in mid trimester. So try to look for the cervix in your every routine scan during pregnancy. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.